Hello again, this is Rishu. This video will help you to understand a typical Indian accent and pronunciation well. There are different types of accents and pronunciation and dialects in the world. And every nationality has a unique accent. There's nothing wrong in that. Even the native speakers have different dialects and accent. For example, say the UK. If you go to the UK, there are different types of dialects and accent depending upon the different parts of the country. Also in the US, in the US there are different dialects, different pronunciation and accent in the Australia, in New Zealand and different countries as well. So you see, every person has a dialect or has an accent and there's nothing wrong in that. But sometimes it's really difficult to understand some kinds of accent. Say most of the people say that they find it difficult to understand an Indian accent. Now India is a big country and there are different types of dialects and accent depending upon where you live in. So if you go to South India people have different accent. If you go to North India people speak in a different dialect and accent. I'm somewhere in the north so I have a different dialect as well but I, I don't have that typical Indian accent because I'm a teacher so I've been teaching for a long time so my accent is not like a typical Indian accent so it's quite easy for people to understand however even I find it difficult to understand people from South India in case you have some Indian colleagues or friend and you find it difficult to understand him or her this video is for you we're going to compare a typical Indian accent with a native accent and we're gonna see different nuances and differences in these both accents so let's get started first we're gonna be talking about voiceless sounds voiceless sounds are those sounds that we pronounce from the front part of the mouth so there are few voiceless consonants that are different in Indian pronunciation or accent for example P K T now you see the difference like in native accent there is a kind of aspiration like P K T but in an in Indian accent there's no aspiration so it sounds something like that K T P so you see K becomes K P becomes P T becomes T now if you have to pronounce certain words say tiger I will say tiger in Indian accent if I have to say cat I will say cat if I have to say pen I will say pen so because there's no aspiration in Indian, Indian accent or Indian language there's a kind of mother tongue influence while they speak and that's why they sound a little bit different so if you are aware of all these things that how the different consonants sound it might it might be really easy for you to understand in an accent second tip is the R ah sound R ah sound so Indian pronounce R ah sounds unlike British and they, they sometimes overdo that also it depends upon different parts especially in South India the role they are too much that is quite noticeable so for example if I have to say tiger now this is actually the British accent so I don't pronounce R if if I'm an American I might say tiger tiger right but in India they pronounce their R and they roll their R too much that it becomes too noticeable so if I say tiger tiger or I can say water water now this doesn't apply to all people in India is basically the southern accent or southern dialect you might see people in South India might roll their R a lot so if I say tiger and water or say flower so you see the R sounds sometimes roll a lot uh, so you might find this feature in just southern part of India not all people speak like that now we also have these three sounds V, B, W. However, in Indian accent, a lot of people mix all these sounds together. So there's no difference when they speak. So for example, if I have to say violin, they also can speak like that. Violin, violin, right? Or if I have to say water, water, they might say water, water. So you see, they 
kind of makes all this sound V B W together. Uh, in Indian languages, there's no W sound, so you might hear that uh, V and W sounds are almost similar, and some people are not able to distinguish these two sounds. However, people can distinguish V and B sound. If they have to say bat, they can say bat and wat, V I T wat. So, but there is a problem with V and W sounds. So, sometimes you might see some people mixing these sounds together and that's why it's quite difficult to understand or distinguish the difference between these sounds. Now, the fourth difference in Indian accent is the O sound. So, in native accent, the O sound is pronounced differently. For example, if I have to say cold, cold is like O sound. However, in an Indian accent, people will say cold, cold. So, so you see, like there's no difference. It's like flat sound, cold, cold. But if I have to say in British accent, I would say cold, cold. Similarly, if I have to say force, this is O sound. In British accent, there's an O sound, force, force. An Indian person might say it force force so you see the sound is like all oh, or oh, force or if I have to say golf golf like sport golf and an Indian person might say golf golf the O sound is pretty much pretty much flat there's no variation like all the O sound sound similar however in English there are different types of O sound so there's O like water and there's like O, oh, like cold, and there's like uh, golf O oh, sound, like golf. All right, so there are different types of O oh sound. However, in Indian accent, all the O oh sounds are similar and flat. So that's why all the words sound same, and the O oh sound doesn't change a lot. Now, the final difference between an Indian accent or native accent is the sh sound, S H sound, sh. For example, if I have to say ship, ship, and a lot of people might also pronounce it as sip, sip. So you see like they can't really speak different sounds like s and sh. They are different sounds, but sometimes they mix it all together. So if they have to say ship, ship, and they might say it as sip, sip, like you sip some water, right? Sipping. So that, that's a common feature that you might see the s and sh sounds are almost same. However, it depends upon individual. Not all people sound like that or not all people uh, speak like that. Uh, most of the Indian people can distinguish these sounds like they have to say ship and sip. So they can distinguish most of the sounds. But there are some people from southern part or some parts of the country where they can't really distinguish these sounds. and uh, this is actually the northern part uh, this is the northern feature you might see a lot of people in the northern part of india uh, they 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 have to say shit or sit sit on the chair and shit is like shit right so they will say the same word in the same way sit sit however it is shit and sit so this is the final feature of an indian accent Moreover, you might find most of the Indian people pronouncing some words literally. What does it mean? It means that they'll pronounce any particular word in the same way as it is written. So, for example, uh, if we talk about certain words, say certificate, certificate. So, you might see, might, some people might pronounce it literally, say certificate because of its spelling. Because it is written as certificate and they read it like that. And that's why they sound different than native speakers. So they will say certificate as certificate. Uh, another word for that I could say initial. Initial. Because of its spelling, they might pronounce it as initial. Initial. Or if I say hotel, hotel, people might say it hotel, hotel. Or this color orange orange people might say orange orange 
Or if I say apples, apples, people will say apples, apples. Or if I have to say temperature, temperature, people might say temperature, temperature. Or if I say temporary, temporary, people might say temporary, temporary. Or if I say polite, polite, and then people might say polite, polite. Or if I have to say police, police, you might see some people say police, police, or police, police, something like that. Or this word, if I have to pronounce it, I will say bomb, bomb, but they will pronounce it literally. They will say bomb, bomb. So you see, because of this literal speaking, they try to pronounce the word how it is written. The pronunciation uh, is a little bit different sometimes. However, it doesn't have to do anything with their accent or dialect. It has to do with their learning. Like some of the people have learned the English language quite differently in, a, in an inaccurate way. And that's why the level of education and background also affect their pronunciation as well. So these are the basic differences that I talked about. However, there, are, there could be many other differences as well, but it's not a dialect or an accent. It, it could be because of the inaccurate learning of the English language, right? So if you know all these technical things or technical aspects of the language, how Indian people speak, maybe you might find it easier to understand your Indian colleagues or Indian friends. So from next time, I hope you can understand them well. Indian accent is not one of the toughest accent in the world. It's quite easy if you try to understand it well. All right, that's all for today. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye.